Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you guys remember, some of you who watched uh, one of the previous videos, which was a uh, stretch timing chain on the Mercedes W123. Uh, so in this video, you're actually gonna see what I uh, discovered on it and whether it's actually whether whether it was a bad um, timing chain tensioner or whether my timing chain is actually really stretched. Uh, so long story short, stay tuned and I will show you everything in this video. All right, guys. So as you just saw, um, I was checking, you know, my timing chain, and I noticed that it has a. I'm not really sure what it has yet, but it has a pretty bad, like it's pretty loose on top and uh, on both sides, and feels like the tension is also junk. So I'm gonna show you in this video what exactly happened, and I'm actually really glad that I caught it uh, because um, it was uh, it was actually pretty like loose and stuff. And uh, also when I was changing my crankshaft pulley, that's when I actually noticed it, is that as, as soon as I pulled the front crankshaft seal, I actually saw, uh, you know, that uh, the chain is really loose on the bottom. So then after that, I decided to pull uh, the valve cover off. And uh, you, sh you should guys also do the same thing to your engines, you know, pull the valve covers and actually uh, check uh, your timing chain, make sure everything is good and it's all nice and tight. Uh, if not, then change the components uh, because this is really critical. Uh, so, anyways, I removed the valve cover and I found found out that this is not right. Something is not right here. So uh, I actually had to take action. So what I did is I removed the tensioner. Uh, so you can see the tensioner right there. Uh, it's removed and. Um, the uh, really funny thing is that uh, uh, when I started checking it, I actually, you know, pushed uh, the tensioner in. I pushed that plunger in, and actually, I really f I felt uh, resistance. I felt pressure in it, which is good. Uh, but uh, either way, I mean, I was I was still confused. I mean, I w I wasn't really sure. And it was it was really interesting, you know. I actually decided to, uh, you know, order a new tensioner for this car because uh, it really looked like it was an original one. Uh, but you know for some reason when I did the uh, test when I did the plunger push test actually it didn't go all the way uh, in and it actually was it was working properly uh, that that's like in my opinion it was all fine uh, but either way I decided to uh, actually uh, go ahead and replace it so you guys are gonna see that right now tensioner that I got so this is a tensioner I'm gonna take it out I actually painted it it's not gonna rust, it's gonna look nice. I'm gonna show you how this tensioner works. A few moments later. I'm gonna actually connect the tensioner right now and show you if that makes a difference. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I think my train is really stretched. And also this uh, guide is actually really worn out. So I'm gonna be replacing the chain on this car at some point. Um, and I prepared the surface. For the chain tensioner, I'm gonna install it right now. This tensioner came pre lubed, but I'm gonna put some oil, anyways. Mainly focus on that hole. As you can see, I painted this tensioner. It used to be grayish before. Try and squeeze it. All right. It's pretty stiff. All right. 
Make sure this surface is all cleaned up right there. And all good. And then grab your new gasket. This thing would be most likely putting the gasket on and then putting the tensioner in place. Now put the bolts in. After you tighten up the, uh, I mean, after you start the bolts, you tighten them up. Tighten them to manufacturer specs. In this, in my case, German tight, Newton tight. But for you, if you don't know how, you know, the bolts feel or that, you know, you should use a torque wrench. I recommend using that. So there's two bolts, uh, uh, 13 millimeter bolts, and then one nut that I'm turning right now, it's 17 millimeter. There's this also a washer over there, so don't forget about that. So let me tighten them completely, uh, and then we'll see if that made a difference on the chain. All right, I'm gonna obviously turn the engine by hand first, but after installing the tensioner, I mean, there's still play here and there. But I feel like when I push this back now, it doesn't really go back as easy. Heel. That's the old one. So yeah, long story short, I'm gonna turn this thing by hand and then we will see uh, you know how the marks are lining up and stuff. Um, Alright guys, let's go ahead and turn this clockwise. Sure she's All right guys, so we're good on the mark. I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine really soon here. Okay guys, so after the car ran for a little bit, for like 10, uh, you know, 20 seconds, um, I'm gonna remove the valve cover again and then I'm gonna uh, show you guys how my chain, whether it's stretch or not, and uh, my tensioner, how it's doing, and if my chain got any tighter with that new tensioner. All right guys, so I have some good news uh, and a couple of tips for you. So if you have a M616 engine, whether it's a W115, W123 uh, chassis, so basically if you guys saw I just installed a brand new tensioner, so what you need to do after you install it, you actually have to run the engine. Uh, so after you run the, the engine for like 10, 20 seconds, uh, that timing chain tension is actually gonna uh, fill up with oil and it's gonna tension up the chain. So right now, after I ran this car for 20 seconds, I shut it off and removed the valve cover again. Uh, and uh, as you can see, my brand new tensioner. Um, and this tension is a lot tighter now, which is crazy. I mean, if you remember, I, I, I was able to pull this thing off right here, but now I can't. I mean, this still moves quite a bit, but it still has a lot of pressure. I can't just push it back in. So this is awesome, guys. And also, I'm gonna actually um, I'll turn the engine by hand uh, and check my marks. Uh, I still believe that timing chain tensioner will need to be replaced because it's uh, stretched. Uh, so I'm gonna be working on that. Um, also, make sure you always, when you reinstall the valve cover before running the engine, you bolt up, uh, tighten up those four nuts because, as you can see, this is what I did. And if my valve cover was loose, uh, then my oil would be leaking everywhere. Uh, it's quite a bit of oil pressure here. And it's actually amazing how it uh, distributes oil everywhere. Look how much oil it shed out in 20 seconds, literally. It's how much oil is is filled up right here everywhere look it's crazy so before installing the valve cover again i have to clean those mating surfaces pretty well 
um, from oil so I didn't have any oil leaks and I believe the valve cover gasket was replaced so I'm not gonna worry about that right now I'm gonna replace it later on um, yeah but that's kind of like the success basically guys with the tensioner uh, and also a couple more tips if you have a W123 with manual transmission you're gonna have to put it in neutral if you wanna if you're gonna be turning the crankshaft by hand with a 27 millimeter bolt uh, not, uh, socket you're gonna have to put the car in neutral otherwise you're gonna be fighting uh, you're not gonna be able to turn that uh, crank bolt um, just because it's gonna be pretty much everything's gonna be connected to the wheel you're gonna basically try to spin the wheel that way so yeah if you have a, a manual transmission car uh, put it in neutral um, and yeah I'm actually gonna get ready I'm gonna turn the engine and show you the timing marks also when I try to push on this tensioner it goes back but it's like so stiff so that's a good sign okay okay so after turning the engine once again check the chain and it's not going anywhere it's nice it's holding great um, and let me show you the marks so there's the marks lined up camshaft with the tower and right here Sorry if it's hard to see, but it's like a couple degrees off. It's like three, three degrees off. So, long story short, I'll probably be changing the chain in the future because this baby needs it.